I give the floor to the representative of Algeria. Mr. President, I have the honor to deliver this statement on behalf of the A3+, namely Guyana, Mozambique, Sierra Leone, and my own country, Algeria. We express our profound gratitude to Mrs. Valentin Rugwabiza, Special Representative of the Secretary General and Head of MUNISCA, for her important briefing to the Council on the situation of Central African Republic. We extend our gratitude to the UN personnel on the ground, as well as to the troop and police contributing countries deployed in Central African Republic for their unwavering dedication. We also thank His Excellency Omar Hillel, the permanent representative of the Kingdom of Morocco, chair of the PPC Central African Republic configuration for his briefing. Mr. President, the A3 Plus wishes to thank Mr. Edmond Moulet for conducting the independent strategic review of MINUSCA. We take note of these recommendations, particularly those addressed to the Security Council, which will inform our deliberation on MINUSCA mandate renewal. The A3 Plus is concerned about the ongoing multidimensional challenges facing the Central African Republic and would like to address three specific issues. First, the political situation. We commend the government's continued effort to implement the political agreement. We also welcome the progress highlighted during the eighth coordinating meeting of the political and peace process, including with respect to the initial implementation of the national border management policy. We are encouraged by the government initiative to engage armed groups that have expressed willingness to return to the peace process. And we continue to call upon all armed groups to commit or recommit to the peace process. The A3 Plus congratulates the government of the Central African Republic on the progress made in implementing the disarmament, demobilization, rehabilitation and reintegration program with the support of MINUSCA. And we therefore urge all other members of the armed group to join the program. It remains essential that the DRR operations be conducted within the national program. The A3 Plus <coughs> regret the fact that local elections planned for 2024 have had to be shifted to next year. Nevertheless, we note that the election preparations have been progressing and reiterate our support to these significant steps to consolidate democracy in the country. We urge MINUSCA and Central African Republic partners to enhance electoral assistance, including through 
contribution to the basket fund managed by the UNDP. We encourage the car authorities to strengthen confidence building measures to promote inclusive and credible elections. Second, the security front. The A3 plus remains concerned as the porosity of the border of the Central African Republic has been a fact for many years, facilitating inhibited movement of armed group in border areas and also illicit armed trafficking. We welcome the government's recent efforts to strengthen security cooperation with neighboring countries, including the revitalization of border commissions. We commend MINUSCA's continued support in effort to extend state authority, including by rehabilitating roads and administrative buildings. The A3 plus calls for the support of the international community in resorting and consolidating peace and security in the Central African Republic, which is on encouraging path to stabilization and must avoid a potential relapse. In this regard, the A3 plus underscored the importance of respecting the UN sanctions against the armed group as a critical part of effort to improve the security situation in the country and to fully implement the 2019 Peace and Reconciliation Agreement. On this latter note, we acknowledge the contribution of MINUSCA in support of peace building in this country and express our disappointment at the campaign of misinformation and disinformation directed against this mission. Third and last point on the human right and humanitarian situation. To achieve lasting peace, the human rights situation in the country must be addressed alongside the peace and political processes. We welcome the establishment and reinforcement of early warning networks comprising Central Africa human rights focal points. And we also welcome the creation of a commission to investigate human rights violations and abuses and ensure accountability. We condemn conflict-related sexual violence <coughs> and violation against children. And we call for the perpetrator of such crime to be held accountable. We commend the Strategic Committee on the Fight Against Gender-Based Violence for the finalization of the revised National Action Plan on Sexual Violence in Conflict. We look forward to its full implementation. The humanitarian situation is at unprecedented crisis levels, compounded by large-scale forced displacement linked to climate change. In this context, the A3 plus, not with concern that 
the Central African Republic is dealing with high number of internally displaced persons. On account of conflict, further exacerbating protection risk for civilians. We urge international partners to provide financial support to address the shortfalls in the humanitarian response plan and ensure it can be fully implemented as part of measures to address humanitarian needs. Moreover, we strongly condemn any violation of the premises of the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. Before concluding, let me say that the plight of food and security among Central Africa, refugees, returnees, deserve greater and urgent attention. We must now work and support the Central African authorities to judicially utilize its own God given natural resources to attain its food security. <clears throat> to conclude, Mr. President, the A3 Plus welcomes the adoption last month of the National Development Plan and look forward to the implementation of all its strategic pillars. And we reiterate our encouragement to and solidarity with the government and people of the Central African Republic. The A3 Plus remains firmly committed to the independence, territorial integrity, and sovereignty of the Central African Republic. I thank you. Je remercie. I thank the representative of Algeria for his statement.